In this video, we're going to be solving a question that is of uh, trigonometry and trigonometric identities to be precise. So this question I should mention is from October, November 2015, paper 1, variant 2. All right, let's get straight to it. Okay, so this is question number 3 of that particular paper. So this says sec square theta minus 1, the whole thing inside the square root, plus cosec square theta minus 1, again, the whole thing inside the square root, is equal to sec theta cos sec theta, all right? Uh, and this is a five mark question because you've got to respect that. By that, I mean you got to make sure that you show every single step and don't miss out anything and don't just, uh, you know, keep the examiner under the impression that, you know, this is this is so this is kind of obvious. Okay, I don't need to show the working for all this. Okay, you gotta show every single step explicitly. Okay, now you you may have noticed that I've already written these three identities here. Okay, so I haven't actually written them. Uh, th these three identities are given to you in your question paper. Okay, they're they're at the very front of the question paper, so you don't necessarily have to memorize these. Okay, now so we have sec. Okay, we have cosec and then we have sec again and then we have cosec again. Okay, so your safest bet and this is um, this is something that I always recommend if you've ever studied from me or if you have, if you have ever looked at, uh, I don't think I've posted any other trigonometry videos, but yeah, it's your safest bet when doing identities is to bring everything in sine, cos and tan. Okay, and then you can always convert it into sec, cosec or whatever the requirement of the question is. Okay, so here's, here's what I'm gonna do, okay. So sec square theta minus one, let's see what I can do with that. So I know that sec square theta, I, I'm, I may, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, mix up theta and a sometimes. So I hope you guys uh, know that really doesn't make a difference. Theta is the angle over here and over here, the, all the angles are a instead. Okay, so sec square a is basically equal to one plus tan square a. So that means if I make, uh, if I bring one on the other side, so sec square, a minus one is basically equal to tan square a. So that means sec square a minus one can basically be written as tan square a inside the square root. Okay, I can do pretty much the same thing with cosec square theta minus one if I bring the one on the left hand side. So this can be written as cosec squared a minus one is equal to cot square a. So this can be written as square root cosec so sorry, square root, my bad, cot square a. Okay, now, I don't have to write this over and over again, okay? I know that towards the end when I've done, uh, when I've done all the simplification and everything, this should just boil down to sec theta and cos sec theta. So tan square a inside the square root will just reduce to tan of a, and then cot square a inside the square root will simply reduce to uh, cot a, okay? See uh, what I mentioned that you may find me mixing up a and theta. So I did just that. Let me replace it to theta. Let me replace a with theta again. Okay, so that's done. Okay, now we have tan and cot. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna change everything in terms of sine and cos. Okay, so tan theta, as you know, is basically equal to sine theta upon cos theta. Okay, I'll write this over here. So tan theta is basically equal to sine theta upon cos theta, something you must know. Cot theta, which is basically equal to one upon tan theta, and since tan theta is equal to sine theta upon cos theta, this can be written as cos theta over sine theta, basically the reciprocal of tan theta. Okay, so this can be written as plus cos theta over sine theta. Okay, now let's see what I can do over here. So the obvious thing to do here is to take out, is to take out the LCM, okay? So I'm gonna do just that. So if I want the LCM, I'll just multiply the two together. So cos theta times sine theta is gonna be my LCM. This needs to be multiplied by sine theta, so that means this also needs to get multiplied by sine theta. So sine theta times sine theta is basically equal to sine square theta, plus this I need to multiply by cos square theta. So let me just write that nicely, what's happened to my handwriting all of a sudden. So that means this also needs to get multiplied by cos theta, so this becomes cos square theta. Now sine square theta plus cos square theta, as you know, well, it's written right over here, but I'm sure this is, this is one identity that is very easy to memorize. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. So we have one upon cos theta into sine theta. Now we're pretty much there, but how exactly do we turn this into second cosec, okay? So for that, if you don't know your identities, then you're in deep trouble, but I hope you do. In case you don't, so I'll write them down over here. So basically, sec theta is equal to one upon cos theta. Cosec theta, on the other hand, 
is basically equal to 1 upon sine theta, right? So what I can do over here is I can write this as 1 upon cos theta times 1 upon sine theta, okay? 1 times 1 will just remain 1. Cos theta into sine theta will turn into cos theta sine theta. So 1 over cos theta is basically equal to what? Sec theta. So that means I can replace this with sec theta. And 1 over sine theta is basically equal to what? Cos sec theta. So that means I can replace this with cos sec theta. And there you have it. We have finally, uh, we have shown that yes, square root of sec square theta minus 1 plus square root of cos sec square theta minus 1 is indeed equal to sec theta times cos sec theta. So there you have it. And the two favorite words that uh, at least I always love to write. And they are hence shown. So there you have it. This is how you're going to get every single mark, how, how you're going to scrape off every single mark from this question. And it was a fun question. Identity questions are always fun because the answer is right there staring at us. And we just have to use our knowledge of identities to bring it equal to that. So yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.